How F1 Drivers Change Gears When speed and accuracy are everything, being able to change gears as quickly as possible can mean the difference between winning or losing an F1 race. This can leave many wondering how F1 gearboxes work and how the driver changes gears. Let's find out. F1 cars change gears semi-automatically, seamlessly transitioning from one gear to the next without losing power. There are paddles on the left and right sides of the steering wheel that allow the driver to move up and down the gears, and the onboard computer handles the actual shifting. At incredible speed, a driver needs to monitor other drivers, corners, tire wear, pit stops and gear changes. Having so much to control at up to 210 miles per hour is almost impossible. In this article, we'll look at how F1 cars help their drivers change gears, making life a little easier during races. An F1 car changes gear through the driver-controlled paddles on the steering wheel, and tests have shown that a driver can change gears more than 3,500 times during a single race, depending on the track. Once the driver makes the decision to go up or down a gear and applies pressure to the paddle, the onboard computer takes over and facilitates the change. The issue is that at the speed a driver is going, being able to monitor RPM and change gear themselves without damaging the transmission is an almost impossible task. To aid the driver in changing gears, much of the gear changing is done by a computer, allowing the driver to effectively just ask for higher or lower gears. Behind an F1 steering wheel are two paddles that the driver uses to shift up or down the gears. The left paddle shifts down a gear and the right paddle shifts up the gears. As already stated, once this request reaches the onboard computer, the onboard sensors and hydraulics complete the shift change automatically, leaving the driver free to focus on the track. Given the thousands of gear changes that happen every race, the onboard computer ensures every change is perfect, something the driver simply wouldn't be able to do. And because every millisecond counts, making mistakes on gear changes, especially when there are usually over 3,000 per race, taking this action out of driver control saves many seconds per race. F1 cars have a clutch that is designed to only be used when the car is pulling away from a standing start, and it is not there to help with changing gears when moving. The only time the driver uses the clutch are to move away from a stop or sometimes to engage reverse. Unlike road vehicles where there are many different manufacturers, F1 clutches are only made by two manufacturers, AP Racing and Saks, and the F1 clutch is almost four times lighter than a standard clutch due to the immense pressure on an F1 car to be as light as possible. The clutch itself is located between the gearbox and the engine. An F1 car has a manual clutch paddle situated in the driver's cockpit on the steering wheel for use at the start of races, or for exiting a pit stop. It is also used on occasion when a driver needs to engage reverse. Even though they are rarely needed, an F1 clutch can reach very high temperatures. But because these clutches are made of carbon fiber and titanium, a high strength and very temperature resistant material, they cope very well with anything an F1 driver can throw at them. There are often times during a season when a driver has slightly slower starts than they're aiming for. This is sometimes due to them having to get a feel for the bite point of a new clutch. This is similar to the owner of a new road car having to adjust to the nuances of their new vehicle. Although, due to an F1 car being such a precision machine, the nuances can be infinitesimally small. As the only way they can get a feel for the bite point is to use the paddles on the steering wheel, drivers that have had a new clutch put in their car sometimes need time and practice in order to get the clutch release perfect. Practice laps are helpful, as is an F1 simulator, but nothing beats race time for really getting to grips with a car. F1 gearboxes are semi-automatic, and a driver changes gears using the paddles on the steering wheel. F1 drivers may make more than 3,000 gear changes per race, and they do this by pulling on either of the paddles before the onboard computer takes care of the actual gear changes. What do you think of this whole situation? Let us know your opinion in the comments, and while you're down there, leave a like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video.